Uh, so one of the questions came across to me, and I just wondered how I can answer this in a uh, one-to-one -one, uh, you know, person. And it says, how would you respond to someone who says, I don't believe in God, but my life is meaningful? And, of course, you know, I can answer that with books, a uh, book-style answer, but I wanted to see what's a good uh, approach to well, a person. Well, okay, so I would ask questions here, all right? Uh, I don't think any— a thoughtful Christian apologist uh, who understands the problem here would ever say that a non-Christian cannot lead a meaningful life, okay? Um, but the problem is in the word meaningful. So I'd want to ask them a question. What do you mean it's meaningful? Well, I, I, I do things that I like to do. The things that I do bring me satisfaction. They give me fulfillment. I think I'm doing good in the world. Okay. And I would say, I could say, all right, I understand you, but that's the same thing an SS officer would say. An SS being uh, basically a stormtrooper of the Nazis who were especially brutal in, in advancing the Aryan race and in, um, in, in executing Jews. Their lives were meaningful to them. They were doing something that was good. And in fact, even after the war was over, quite a number of these people that were on trial at the Nuremberg trials would not even acknowledge that what they did was wrong. They thought it was noble. They still, you know, stuck to their guns, as it were, even though they lost the war. They were convinced that what they were doing was noble. <clears throat> okay, now the question that I'm going to ask is, to the person who says, well, the, when he says, my life is meaningful, I ask what? And they're going to give their characterization. Chances are pretty good that that same characterization is going to fit a whole bunch of other people that it seems to moral common sense led morally grotesque lives. Mm -hmm. Now, the question is going to be, what's the difference? And the correct answer for the atheist is, there is no difference. It's just they like right. something that I didn't like. But we both did what was meaningful to us, and that's all you can say. And in fact, that's all they can say, if they are being consistent with their view. So I'm going to first ask a question about their definition of meaningful, and then I'm going to ask a question. Then I'm going to think, given how they characterize it, I'm going to think of, of severe counterexamples where their same definition would apply to people who lived morally grotesque lives. And then I'm going to ask them about that. So on your view, then, this would be justifiable what they did, because they were living meaningful lives, too. Different meaning than you had. I get that. Mm -hmm. But just as meaningful to them in the ways that your life is meaningful to you. How do you think about that? That's what I would ask. Right. And, 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 and like you mentioned, that's something you can actually bring up to them. Well, you know, if you hold your, your view consistent as an atheist, then your your meaning will still be, I guess, valid to you, even though Adolf Hitler, you know, killed all these people. Would it, it would um, be—yes, it would be valid to them, no question. But w the point I'm making, it's no different. You just happen to choose what appear to be noble-sounding goals for your meaningful life. But on your view, there's no difference between Hitler and Mother Teresa. Right. If they, they were both making the best of their own lives according to their own views. How, you can't say Mother Teresa's view, views were better, mm -hmm. Hitler's were worse. All you could say is they're different because there's no standard by which you can measure them that doesn't entail a moral judgment that an atheist has no appropriate um, right to. He can't just smuggle this, he can't just borrow this morality from a Christian worldview when it's not part of his worldview. His worldview is do your own thing, and that's, a, that's not morality, that's just a rational outworking of, of a view that holds there is no ultimate meaning in the world. No ultimate meaning. There is only meaning that you can give it. But if you give it your meaning, then the next guy is just as free to give it his meaning, whatever that happens to be. And that could be the SS stormtrooper compared to Mother Teresa and the nuns, the w Mothers of Mercy or whatever the 
group was that she was a part of. And this is the stickler. Your view, I'm speaking now to the atheist, your view, atheist, um, allows for all of this stuff. All of this, uh, there is no distinction. You are, your meaningfulness is simply tied to yourself, your self-interest in your self-desires. Uh, for Christians, or, or, or noble theists, their self, they, their their interests are tied to an other, one greater than them. And so they seek to do the greatest good, which means not to do what they want, selfishly, but rather to do what to do the good, the objective good, the noble, the truly noble thing, and not just pursue whatever.